started a new project called Zebra 2.0. Uh, some of you may know that uh, there's an open source networking protocol implementation called Zebra, and uh, today it's very famous as the Quagga. And it was actually designed in 1996. It was uh, actually 20 years ago, so time goes by so fast. So since then, the, I started a commercial version uh, with a company called IP Infusion, and uh, that development was uh, during 2000 to 2006, and it's uh, just a commercial version. And uh, since then, there are many, many new technology came out, and also the environment is drastically changed, and the requirement is completely different. So I believe that it's a now is the time to think about the new implementation. So I started the project called Zebra 2.0, and it's a yet another networking software. So there's already uh, so many networking protocol implementation out there, but uh, more choice will be uh, good for users. And I have changed the original GNU licensing to the, uh, this time it, I adapted Apache license. And also the code is written from completely from scratch uh, using C++11. And architecture is also uh, completely uh, remodeled. So I'm using the task completion model as well as the threading model. And original implementation has a uh, different shortest path first implementation for every single protocol, such as OSP version 2, or OSP version 3, or ISIS. And this new version uh, have a single SPF implementation using the C++ uh, template library. And also, uh, it has a new forwarding engine abstraction layer because the, there's a new technology such as the DPDK or OFDK came out. So it's completely designed from scratch. And also, one of the biggest change is the, uh, I separated uh, management interface uh, from protocol implementation. So uh, new version has an independent management layer uh, called OpenConfigD. And it supports commit and rollback uh, kind of interface. And also, MPS VPN is completely supported, uh, including the uh, newly implemented kernel forwarder for MPS VPN. And also, namespace and container, virtual machine, or VRF, everything is uh, completely aware uh, implementation. And open flow integration with these lab passes in there. So, uh, basic architecture is, looks like this one. Uh, it's very similar to original Zebra or Kaga implementation, but uh, one big difference is it, uh, it's not much process model, uh, which uh, Kaga does. It's uh, currently I'm um, using the single process with the much-related architecture. Uh, so every single mo protocol module, actually by default it has a two thread. Uh, one thread is for protocol handling, and another thread is packet handling and also the timeout uh, handling. And also, it is possible to configure the match process model uh, as well. So if you want to adapt the, the same match process model, which uh, kind Quagga does, you can do it. And as I said, that uh, management interface is completely separated. It is called open configd. And commit rollback is supported. And the configuration is defined by young model. So uh, if you define the, uh, any configuration in the young, uh, you can put the configuration into this open config implementation. And based upon young, uh, it automatically generates shared interface and also netconf and REST API. So without having any the additional work, you can have the CLI netconf REST uh, is automatically defined. And uh, CLI is implemented based upon bash uh, implementation, uh, we call it as conf shell. So uh, if you log in using the conf shell, uh, you can see the uh, very Juniper-like uh, CLI. Uh, it can configure the set protocol, BGP something, blah, blah, blah. And so you can do the commit and also the rollback. And also the, there's an activity called open config. Uh, it is the uh, many people are putting effort for defining general networking protocol configuration using the YANG. So right now, the, this open config implementation uh, has no issue for reading the open config uh, YANG definitions. 
And currently, uh, open config D architecture looks like this one. So there's a protocol module top over there, and also the lag pass is handling open config, uh, open flow. And there's a central manager called open config D, and it uh, has a young based the configuration database. And Shell has uh, three different API. Uh, one is used for completion, and another one is for showing the current status. And last one is uh, doing the, the configuration. And inside the configuration API, uh, it has a commit, rollback, or validation kind of a different kind, uh, different sub APIs in there. And also we have a language binding uh, since it is implemented in C++. Uh, as a language binding, we adapt, uh, we leverage Swing, uh, Swing library to for uh, generating. Uh, Python, Java, or Ruby, those kind of APIs. And also we are working on integration with the Java-based controller, especially the open flow controller, such as Onos or Open Daylight. Uh, some of these the open source uh, open flow controller has their own uh, networking protocol implementation, but uh, if it's a very common implementation, such as OSPF, uh, I really want to avoid reinventing the whole. So if it's a, just a standard protocol implementation, then you can easily adapt this Zebra 2.0 module, uh, even if it's a Java implemented controller. And the big change in past uh, roughly 10 years is the, the uh, forwarding engine is <coughs> Uh, there's a many different kind of forwarding engine uh, out there. So traditional OS uh, forwarder, forwarder uh, it's a software forwarder is also supported, and also DPDK, it's a, a computer user run implementation. So uh, if we run the uh, this networking protocol uh, working with the DPDK environment, uh, we must be very careful for the how we can handle the forwarding engine interface. And also, uh, there's a hardware abstraction layer like uh, Broadcom uh, implemented OFDPA. Uh, it's an uh, open flow kind of API top over the hardware ASIC API. So we have a, a very high level abstracted interface which can support any different kind of the, the forwarding engine. And also this uh, forwarding engine abstraction, we call it the FEA, and uh, it provides interface and port management and bridge management and routing table as well as the app table implementation. And we can instantiate this forwarding engine abstraction anything you like. So you can instantiate one forwarding engine abstraction and bind it to specific VRF or specific virtual machine or uh, bind with is a specific namespace, uh, you can do anything you would want. So anyway, basic idea is the uh, revisit uh, all of the uh, today's networking requirements and also the filling the, the big gap of the current implementation with the uh, latest uh, environment. So I'm almost finishing the, the initial implementation, and uh, once it gets ready, and I'm going to make it to the open source at the uh, GitHub. So if you guys are interested in the, I strongly uh, recommend to you to contribute or take a look into that one, and any suggestion is very welcome. Thank you very much. And I'm going to pass to the, the Nakajima-san about uh, Lago Pass. Okay, uh, I'd like to uh, introduce our uh, Lagopass project. It's a um, uh, multi-core CPU aware, uh, fast and programmable uh, packet forwarder. As a, so uh, we think uh, Lagopass works as a uh, high performance packet forwarder uh, with uh, many uh, routing protocol, especially uh, this talk uh, is uh, focused on the Zebra 2.0. Uh, and, uh, so let me introduce uh, the uh, our uh, overview of Lagopass switches. Uh, so first one is a uh, high performance user space uh, packet forwarder uh, using the DPDK. Um, basically, this uh, software switch designed for the multi-core CPU architecture. 
uh, we measured some uh, performance uh, of the uh, over uh, 40 giga BPS and uh, over uh, 20 mega PPS performances. Also, uh, we uh, reduced the uh, processing latency uh, for the uh, real use cases. Also, uh, so uh, I'm in the uh, network carrier uh, research lab, and uh, we try to support a large scale uh, FIP and uh, RIP environment. Especially uh, in our use cases, uh, we need uh, more than uh, one mega uh, pro uh, uh, route and uh, over more uh, one mega uh, uh, FIP entries. And also, uh, we can replace the uh, um, high performance network IO library. Uh, so, recently, uh, DPDK is a very famous uh, IO library, but uh, we can replace to another uh, library. Of course, uh, we can um, uh, handle the uh, some hardware flow to the uh, more uh, to get the more uh, performance. Also, uh, we provide a uh, high programmable uh, packet holder. So uh, maybe uh, existing uh, solution provide a very primitive uh, packet holding. Maybe uh, so we provide um, many protocol frame match and action. So uh, our uh, software switch. Uh, so if you want to uh, program the flow, uh, we can provide them. Um, Basically, and the match and action uh, rules to the uh, switches. Uh, also, uh, we provide a tunnel protocol frame match and uh, action. Uh, recently, many um, user want to uh, enable the overlay type uh, pro uh, networking using the MPLS, uh, BXRAN, and the GRE. And also, uh, in the future, we pro uh, we will support the NSH, GNAP, uh, GTP. And also, uh, we provide a QoS action for some use cases. And uh, uh, for the uh, program or data plane, we provide a lot of uh, API to uh, control the data plane using the JSON and the Netlink compatible uh, API. And also, uh, we provide uh, Open for 1.3 based uh, rules. And uh, so we can adapt the many um, use cases for uh, using the uh, switch configuration uh, to uh, cooperate with the uh, open company uh, like uh, JSON and uh, NetConf or OBSDB. And uh, um, so um, basically our software switch uh, using the uh, DPDK for high performance, but uh, in some use cases, uh, it's uh, difficult to handle the uh, very primitive uh, protocol handling such as uh, ARP, ICMP. And so that's why we uh, leverage the Linux kernel uh, network stack to handle such kind of more uh, protocols uh, very efficiently. And so this uh, is a uh, Lagopas uh, overview of this uh, design. Um, yeah, we provide a lot of uh, API and uh, provide a uh, high performance packet processing. And uh, uh, one interesting feature of our uh, Lagopas switch is to leverage the uh, Intel DPDK. And uh, to bypass the uh, uh, OS kernel uh, packet processing uh, to achieve the high performance as well as uh, uh, very uh, low latency packet processing. And also, uh, we have uh, designed the, uh, our data plane for uh, multi-core CPU uh, processing. And so uh, the to get the math performance, we uh, exploit the many CPU core to reduce the data copy and move. And uh, uh, we can assign some uh, working uh, threads to the dedicated CPU cores. Also, uh, we implement a, a kind of uh, load balancing mechanism in the uh, packet processing. <coughs> and also, uh, we try to uh, get the match performance using the um, 
uh, some technique to improve the uh, decache uh, efficiency for uh, flow lookup and uh, instructions. Okay, uh, so this is uh, uh, our uh, integration plan, uh, integration uh, design to the uh, Zebra 2.0. Basically, the uh, the user traffic goes through the, the uh, Lagopass uh, software data planes, and for the uh, some packet related to uh, C plane, so go through to the uh, Linux kernel uh, using the tap uh, interfaces, and the Zebra can um, handle the some uh, C uh, C plane packet as a very um, Common way uh, in the Linux kernel and the environment, and basically the open conf D uh, control the Zebra 2.0 and uh, as well as uh, Lagopass to configure the uh, switches for the uh, more flexible operations. Of course, the uh, um, deep information and uh, root, uh, routing information based and uh, uh, forwarding information based uh, control are done by the some API between the forwarding uh, engine abstraction of the uh, Zebra 2.0 and to the uh, Lagopass switches. So this is the last slide. Uh, so we will uh, provide the. Uh, Routing, a newly designed routing stack, uh, Zebra 2.0 to the public, uh, maybe very soon. Very soon. <laughs> and Lagopass is already public, so you can uh, take a look into the implementation right now. And also, uh, as Nakajima-san shows this slide, uh, it combines traditional layer two and layer three forwarding, as well as its open flow uh, with the, even the DPDK environment. So you can do very, very flexible uh, networking the application with these uh, combinations. Anyway, thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Any questions? Microphone. Use the microphone. Only wire microphone. Okay. Thanks. Um, two questions regarding uh, Zebra 2.0. Um, the first question you mentioned in the last slide, in the last line, mm -hmm. uh, something regarding VRF support. Yeah. The question, I, was that referring to the VRF support added in, in kernel version 4.3 and 4.4? Yes, so uh, yeah, that, that leverages the latest kernel updates, and but at the same time, it uh, uh, there's a, uh, many, many protocol side support. For example, the BGP extensions, as well as the RSVPT, as well as the uh, OLP extensions. So that is, is the main feature I have implemented in the Zebra 2.0. And uh, does that mean, let's say, I, I want to use 4,000 VRFs. Mm -hmm. uh, everything will be handled in just one thread. How is it going to, to work? Yeah, it's up to the user configuration. So if we want to run the every single thread to handle thing, let's see if we want to run the 4,000 thread for 4,000 VRF, you can do it. Or you can have a one thread to handle 4,000 VRF. It's, it's up to you. OK, and the second question, uh, since I understand that you practically uh, pretty much rewritten a big part of Zebra in the new version. And you also mentioned Quagga. Yeah. Let's say we're talking about at least 10,000 routes. Mm -hmm. How is the performance compared to Quagga? I, um, I didn't check that with BGP, but for example, with RIP, 
with 10,000 uh, um, advertisements of 10,000 routes mm -hmm. was really bad and we had to, to modify the, the Quagga stack. And the question is uh, how is uh, um, Zebra standing with that? I, I see that you removed the RIP from, uh, from the 2.0, but mm -hmm. uh, um, the question is uh, at least for BGP and OSPF, uh, was there any test made uh, for large scale and are there are any metrics available that uh, um, we can maybe compare with Quagga for performance? <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a, yeah, it's a very good question. I, I believe that there's a, a lot of performance improvement, especially for the, uh, the both OSPF and BGP, we have a, a huge performance improvement. The, the one of the reasons why we uh, we can improve the performance is we completely separate the timeout handler like the OSP hello is completely decoupled from the the, the product handling. Okay. So even if it's a, there's a huge uh, shortest pass fast calculations, it does not have any affection to the, the hello handling. So uh, it has a, a big uh, big factor to the, the scalability. As well as the, the BGP, uh, there's a many, many uh, uh, point uh, which uh, related to the performance improvement, but uh, the Zebra 2.0 actually, uh, it's, uh, it's completely new implementation and based upon the experience of the, the original Quagga, as well as the I wrote the commercial version of Zebra called the Zebra OS. And I think that this Zebra 2.0 has uh, uh, many, many those kind of the experience results. And the, the implement ratio was, uh, it's a, it, I believe it's a tremendous improvement. So you can check the, the performance once it gets out. Okay, and uh, one last thing. Now that you mentioned Zebos, I'm, I'm pretty familiar with we used Zebos, at least in the past. And, okay. And, uh, <laughs> Thank you very much. And yeah. uh, Zebos, I, as far as I remember, at least few, five or seven years ago, the version did support RIP. Yes. So, and I see here that you removed it for the 2.0. Mm -hmm. well, why, why, I, I know that for, it doesn't scale good for large routes and stuff, but there's still a lot of users that don't want to get into a very complicated configuration that are required for BGP and might still want for, you know, small networks use RIP. And I, as a developer, I wouldn't like to, you know, use Quagga for RIP and use <laughs> Zebra 2.0 uh, for BGP and LDP and RSVP VE. So, uh, yeah, yeah, if if there's a demand, uh, yeah, I would implement the RIP. And I, actually, it's it's very uh, very small protocol, so I believe that anybody can implement RIP to validate the two point zero infrastructure. Okay, thanks. Is there any other questions? What will be the licensing model of uh, Zebra 2.0? Will it be GPL again? Uh, yeah, the, it's, it, will be, uh, it will be the Apache license, so it's very open <laughs> one. Uh, since uh, original Zebra and Quagga was distributed under the GNU uh, General Public License version 2, so this Zebra 2.0 is uh, much more uh, loose uh, open source licensing. Uh, I hope this question is not uh, considered, uh, how can I say, uh, uh, 
impolite to ask, but uh, what happened to the general idea of release early and release often and, and basically developing the code in the open source community versus developing until it is complete in the private and then releasing it in one batch? Uh, would you mind elaborating on that strategy? No, the, the, the reason why I haven't yet made it open source is just, just the, I found this opportunity <laughs> recently. So the, 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 today I made this pre presentation because of the, the, I put uh, pressure to myself to make it open source. <laughs> so yeah, so that's, uh, that's the only one reason. No. Uh, why I haven't yet made, made it open source. Yeah. It's not the technical question though, but do you have any plan to collaborate with Quagga guys? Yes, and I'm expecting that uh, in your future the, we uh, maybe we come up together for the, the uh, improving both Quag and Zebra 2.0. But uh, Zebra 2.0 is the the code base is uh, pretty new, and it's uh, heavily depends upon C++ 11 standard. So I'm wondering that we can share the code, but I. I believe that uh, we can work together for the, the improving any, any aspect of the implementation. So as I just mentioned about cooperating with Quagga, how do you see the your license, the Apache, which isn't compatible with the GPLv2, which Quagga is under? I think that the, the maybe the, it's, a little bit difficult to link together, but uh, we have, uh, Quagga of course has the uh, API, <laughs> Zebra API, I'm not hard to say that. And also Zebra 2.0 has uh, lots of API, so maybe we can call each other uh, with the standardized API. So I think that in that case, the, I don't think that there's an issue of data licensing. And uh, if I might ask a second question, mm -hmm. how about testing? As I talked this morning about all the testing I do on Quagga, are you doing anything on your side for testing comp uh, compliance or anything else? Yeah, I, that, that part I, I'm expecting that working with the Quagga community. So I really want to work together for the, the having a standard uh, where design testing suite for working with the Quagga Zero as a point zero. I have a question about the how how did you how do you do the the route lookup to make it fast? Have you using special a special algorithm, or you are, are you just spanning it out on on multiple like CPUs? Uh, actually, the the yeah for the performance improvement, the existing Quagga implementation uh, actually it's every single protocol is a single threaded. So to improve the performance, we have to be very careful about the uh, preemptive emptive kind of the, the task management by myself. But new uh, Zebra 2.0 adapt uh, the, the much threaded architecture. So that is the biggest difference between the Quagga and the Zebra 2.0. And also I'm, the I'm, 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 yeah, I'm, I'm talking the data plane where you have to look up the packet to figure out what. Oh, sorry. Uh, your question is the data plane. Yeah, the, 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 the data plane. How how does it uh, does the route look up and to, ah, to, to make it fast in the data plane? Uh, the, yeah. So yeah, today we have a many many different kind of data plane. So the traditional uh, Linux kernel folder, as well as the the Nakajima san expanded into DPDK. And also the, the today we have uh, harder acceleration. So everything the, the underlying forwarding layer has different, <coughs> different characteristic. So that I'm trying to make uh, it as, as much as possible to make it a very high level abstracted 
layer API for underlying the project. Let's say last lookup or even the, the next of table lookup. The sometimes it can be uh, can be done by hardware. Sometimes it's uh, just a pure software implementation. But from protocol implementation side, I want to make uh, the everything to be the same API. So that is what I'm trying to make it work. Yeah. Okay. I was I was mostly wanting to know the IP, IPv4 uh, lookup table. How is it implemented? What's the algorithm? Ah, yeah, so the, the right now, the, for IPv4, we, uh, have, we have uh, three different of t type of algorithm. One is it's a standard uh, Patricia tree, the, the, the try algorithm. And another version is, is uh, the level compressed LPC. It's a uh, Patricia tree, but level is compressed. So we are seeing the uh, lookup performance is, is uh, almost double. Uh, compared with the traditional partition tree. And the third one is, is a kind of hash table. So we have three different kind of the, the, the root lookup implementation and this, uh, try to see this, what is the best for the purpose. Okay, that's cool. You have three different implementation. Yeah. It's like the, 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 the compressed partition tree, tree is, yeah. is, is the same as the kernel is using. Same as the kernel, yes. Yeah. Hi, is there a list of the RFCs that you support that we can get sooner than later and yes, any yeah. interoperability testing that you've done with yeah. other vendors and others besides the open source but in addition to open source yeah, that so, was mentioned? Yeah, of course. So when uh, we're going to make it open, that there will be a list of RFCs and also the internet drafts. And also for testing, I'm expecting to the you guys. Committee. <laughs> I cannot do anything. Put, I check it in and we'll start. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay, thank you very much for your time. Yeah.